Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe 2018 is coming to an end. This year flew by. I started a second business. I became a mom. Like it just was the craziest year, the most fun. Being a mom to Julian is literally like a dream come true, a dream that I've had my whole life. So it was pretty amazing. And it's just been so much fun like watching him grow up and turn from like a baby to a toddler. But New Year's Eve is upon us. We are just a couple of days away. So I thought it'd be really fun to do kind of like a little inspiration video. I've actually partnered with Mary Kay on this video. So thanks so much to them for sponsoring this video. They have come out with a new line called Chroma Fusion. So basically you buy these pro palettes that look like this. I have two of them. And they're super nice and big and sleek. And they're magnetized. So you can choose any of their blushes, contours, highlights. And create your own palettes and you just add the magnetized product in there so this one's all the different shadows so you guys will see in the video but all of these chroma fusion products are super nice so basically they're meant to just wear all night last all day they're life proof so i felt like this would be a perfect time to use them for a new year's eve look when you really need that makeup to last like all night long through doing whatever through dancing sweating like any of that so these products are going to be perfect for that you're not going to have to worry about your makeup it's going to last all day i've been using them a lot recently and they're so good they're just like super pigmented they glide on really easy nothing is patchy so super nice shadows they have a bunch of shimmers mattes tons of different colors and I also really love the blushes too they just have such a good array of colors no matter what look you're going for I have some glows some highlighters and I also have a contour too so I will share everything with you guys in the video and I'll link it down below basically I thought it would be really cool if I shared with you guys a look if you're just gonna be hanging out at home maybe having friends and family Family over but you're doing like a casual New Year's Eve I'm gonna share with you a makeup idea and outfit ideas for that occasion then I'm gonna show you guys this look which is more of like if you're going out doing something super glam and fun and celebrating like at a club or to an event or anything like that I'm gonna share with you guys a really fun kind of like nighttime look and also a great outfit idea so if you guys want to see my first look which is if you're just gonna be hanging out at home then go ahead and keep watching so to begin I've already put on my eyebrows and did my foundation concealer and powder that way I know my makeup is gonna last all day I just followed my routine that I normally use so go ahead and do that just something that's gonna really last all night long through dancing and having fun hanging out all that kind of stuff if you're sweating or anything like that where where I'm gonna be it's gonna be freezing cold and what I'm gonna be doing is just hanging out in my pajamas so this first look is gonna be perfect for me so this is a look that you're gonna do if you're just gonna be hanging out with family and friends, maybe having like a little meat and cheese board at home, watching the ball drop, just like hanging out. And that's like personally my favorite thing to do. I'm such a homebody and I love hanging out at home more. So I wanna just do something that's polished and easy and put together, but still pretty because I know we're probably gonna take pictures and stuff like that. So I'm gonna start off with doing a little contouring. So this color right here is Latte. So the contour pans are a little bit bigger than like the eyeshadow pans. So you guys can see for reference, so you can fit a good size brush in there. I'm gonna go ahead and just contour my cheeks. Warm up my skin again, because we can all use a little glow around this time of year. I need some sun, so I'll give myself some fake sun. So one of my favorite looks to do in the winter when I'm a little bit more fair, I don't really have much of a tan or color. I love to do like a baby pink kind of icy pink type of look. So the blush has to be like that perfect cool tone shade. I'm going to use this one right here. It's darling pink. It's that perfect like muted baby pink. It does have a little bit of silver shimmer in there. So it's going to give us a nice glow too. But that's exactly what I'm going for. Just something really cool tone that's going to warm up your face but make you look really like young and fresh. So you only need to use a tiny bit. These are super pigmented. And just blend it back into that contour. I do a little on the nose, forehead. So I'm going back in with Latte and adding that to my crease. I always love to use bronzer or contour in the eye for some definition. I feel like it's just so easy. It's simple, you don't have to think about it. It's gonna really go with your skin tone. And the color is already perfect for you. And this one's matte, so it's great for the crease. So I'm just placing it in the crease and then working my way up with the fluffy brush. You don't want to start up high and bring it down. You want to start right in your crease and then fan it out. That's going to look the most natural. That's going to be the easiest to blend. It's going to look the best. Then I always bring it out in that outer corner just a little bit. 
For highlight, I'm gonna go in with Glaze. This is a really pretty, more of an icy champagne tone as well. It's gonna really pair beautifully with that blush. I almost like to layer it over top. A little on the nose, but don't go too crazy on the nose or the forehead. Now with this look, I do think it's really pretty to have it on the top of the lip. It kind of just goes with that like icy vibe. Now that your skin is like super glowy and fresh. To finish up the eyes. So for the eyes, I kind of want to create an ombre of shimmers and Mary Kay, the Chroma Fusion line has great shimmer products. So I'm going to first go in with this kind of like champagne white one. Okay. I'm just going right in the inner corner. I'm actually going to use my finger to apply this one. I ignore my nails. I have to find the time to do them. I will never do that dip powder again. I think I told you guys, like I got that dip powder and it was the ombre and it was so pretty but it has just ruined my nails, like gel polish, regular polish, anything like just won't stay on them anymore and they just keep breaking. Like I can't even like open a can or anything. Like it's terrible. They just break. Okay, so you guys can see it's creating that really pretty kind of like halo effect in that inner corner. I bring it a little bit on the lower lash line as well. That way just like anywhere you turn, you can see that pretty icy effect. Now I want to go in with a little bit of a peach. So I'm going to use candlelight also on my finger. I always use my finger for really shimmery shadows. Just that way they show up a little bit better. And I'm going to bring that up into the crease just a little bit. Okay, then I'm adding copper penny to the outer corner. This is going to really make the look a little bit more peachy and coppery and bring it all together. So I want to add just something a little bit darker to my crease. So I'm going to go in with this dusty rose. It's a matte kind of mauve rose tone and just add that to that outer corner crease. Like I said, you start lower on the crease, like directly in the crease and then you can work your way up, but I'm not bringing it all the way in this time. I'm just going to keep it towards that outer corner there. I'm also going to bring this on that lower lash line. It's kind of an easy way to finish off your look is just bring a good crease color down on the bottom and it really makes the look complete. I don't want liner for this look just because I want to keep it more simple. I am just going to brush through my lashes. If you have lash extensions, you know that you have to be super careful when using any shimmery products so that they don't get stuck on them because you're not really using mascara. But if you don't have lashes, go ahead and use mascara, apply falsies, whatever you want to do. Okay, go ahead and finish this off with your favorite nude or pinky lip and then I'm going to share with you guys my casual outfit ideas for New Year's Eve. This is look number one. I think this would be perfect if you're just having family and friends over for a little casual thing at your house. You're probably going to be hanging out on the couch most of the night, but you want to look a little bit more jazzed up and put together when they come to the door. So I threw on some heels. So these are just little white leather mules. They're super cute. I love the heel and the ponytail, but I paired it actually with just a sweatsuit. Like this is super comfortable. I'm really cozy. I can take my heels off and throw slippers on. This is just a matching sweatsuit. It has a little jogger pants that are high waisted. Really cute and comfortable. And I threw it on with the matching black sweater. It's kind of like a mock neck. It's really loose so you can eat and drink all that you want and it's still gonna look flattering. I just tuck it in a little bit in the front to give you some shape. And that's the look. Super easy and cute. Like I said, when I get like tired of wearing the heels, I'll just throw slippers on or socks or whatever. And you have a cute little look. Okay, outfit number two. This one's if you wanna get a little more fun, a little more festive. I think leopard is so cute. And when else can you wear a full leopard sweatsuit than New Year's Eve? So this is actually the exact same sweatsuit. It's just leopard print. So it's so comfortable, so forgiving. I went with white shoes again, little white loafers, but I think these are just a little bit more casual, a little bit more comfortable if you don't wanna wear heels. If it's snowing or raining where you live, you can just throw on little boots or whatever you're comfortable in. But I have on this big kind of like shag black coat that's really cozy. It could be a coat or kind of like a cardigan to keep you warm. But just another cute look if you wanna do something just a little bit more fun, a little bit more bold. I love the leopard. 
Okay, so I want this next look to be similar in tone. I want it to be a little bit more on the cool tone, but I wanna go with more plums and purples. I think that's a really fun take on a smoky eye. Instead of gravitating towards like the dark bronze or the classic like silver and black, I think adding in some plums in there can be really pretty and just different, especially if you have brown eyes. I always think that looks pretty. So I'm gonna start with Sandcastle. It's just a matte kind of neutral beige color and add that all over just as a good base. This really helps all your other colors have something to kind of blend into. Okay, then I'm gonna go into Cinnabar, which is a really pretty kind of plummy brown shade and a fluffy brush and work that into my crease. So just following that same trick I shared with you guys earlier, start directly in your crease and then work your way up. That's gonna really lift your eye. But if you do it the other way, you're gonna have a hard time getting that really pretty like diffused, more like professional look that you see on Instagram and all that type of stuff. So that's really important. It's all about blending, but I think it's important to start at the right spot too. It's just gonna make it so much easier on you. And it will just take you 30 seconds instead of like 30 minutes to get a great eye look. But these colors are so pigmented as you guys can see. They barely require like any work to get that great color payoff and that great blended eye. Look at that, like that's just two shadows, super easy, super quick, and you already have that really pretty definition. Gonna run that cinnabar on the lower lash line as well. Whenever you're doing a darker eye, I do like to finish it off on the lower lash line as well. I think it can make the eye look a lot bigger. So I'll take it from the bottom and I'll kind of wing it out like that. That's how I meet it up in the middle. I'm gonna add Frozen Iris to the lid. This is a really pretty shimmery plum as well. I also think purple is kind of a great way to like step into using color if you're not used to it or if you only wanna do it here and there. Purple, I still feel like looks like it's in the neutral family in a way, which is my favorite. Okay, then I'm gonna go back into that crystalline that we used in the first look and add that to the inner corner again. I just think that really brightens up the eye. For this look, I definitely wanna add some liner, so I'm gonna do a winged liner and then we'll come back for the rest of the face. Liner is on, I'm gonna go back in with just a little bit more of that contour color called Latte from earlier. When you're doing a dark eye look, I do think it's really important to make sure you do have on some bronzer just so your face doesn't look like super washed out or it doesn't really match with the rest of the look. I wanna go for more of a muted neutral blush, so I'm gonna use Rosy Nude, which is a really pretty matte kind of plum rosy shade. And then finally for a highlighter, I'm gonna use Honey Glow, which is exactly what it sounds like, a really pretty coppery, peachy, honey, glowy color. This would be really pretty in the eyes too, actually. Okay, so here's the final look. I did a little bit more of a darker lip, stuck with the matte tones because I think I want the eyes to really stand out, be the star of the show. So I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me today. Let's go ahead and try on the outfit. So I went ahead and put this dress on. I bought this a couple weeks ago and I'm obsessed with it because there's just so many different ways you can wear it. So obviously the traditional way that it's meant to be worn is as a dress. It's kind of like a blazer style dress. I just think that's so cute. Kind of has a little bit of a padded shoulder. You've got the long sleeves, but it's still super festive and sparkly and glittery. I wore it with my little red pumps that had the studs on them, super cute really festive because they're red. I feel like you got a couple more days you can wear red. Actually, you can wear red for Valentine's Day too, but I just think this outfit is very New Year's Eve appropriate, super cute. If I was going somewhere where I needed to be a little bit warmer, I'd just pair it with thigh high boots. That way I could keep my legs warm. But the other day I did wear this out to dinner and I just wore it as a blazer. So I wore leather pants, a black turtleneck, and I wore this over top as a blazer and it was really cute too and it covered your butt. So you can wear it a couple different ways.
So here's an example if you want to wear something a little bit warmer. I still went with the all black just because I feel like it's easy to put an outfit together that way. But I have on a long sleeve bodysuit actually. So it keeps you warm all the way down. And then I just have on this little full leather skirt and my over the knee boots. These actually keep you really warm and they're easy to walk in. They're comfortable. You could wear a flat version too. I just have the heeled. But then you could just throw kind of like a faux fur coat over top, like a leopard one would be really cute and you're ready for the night. Okay, you guys, I hope you all have a fun and safe New Year's Eve. Let me know down below in the comments what you're doing. I wanna know if you're a homebody or if you're going out and doing like something totally glam and fun, which is I always like think I'm gonna do that. And so I buy that fancy dress and I'm like, no, no way. I'm just gonna hang out at home, eat all the cheese, drink all the champagne. So I hope that you guys have a fun New Year's Eve. Like I said, don't forget to check out Mary Kay, the Chroma Fusion products. I will have all the links to everything that I used and in order down below in the description box. So it's just super easy to shop. You guys can check them out, but super nice products. I've loved Mary Kay for years. It was one of the first makeup lines that I actually ever used. So super cool. Very exciting to work with them and I will see you guys next year. Bye.